it's just like pretty hot inside because the air conditioning is broken. Now we are on the way to Vegas for NAV, like the biggest uh, cinema and television export, I think, in the world. We are on the way to see uh, what's new and try to picture a film, Rocco Picasso, the feature film, 2004. And hopefully, we get to know more about the cameras. And if it's possible, we can get funded for the films. So, yeah, stay tuned. And see you in the Vegas. And what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just a hitchhiker. <laughs> <laughs> I just pick it up, pick him up. It will load in the background and it'll analyze my media. And when it finishes analyzing it, this side is all children sit right and left. This is a speech to text engine. So I can set this off, the Adobe Media Encoder will load in the background and it'll analyze my media. You see it's highlighting the word as it's spoken because it knows when the word is spoken and this works the other way around. So if I think, okay, I want to cut this scene. So you click on the word and it takes the playhead to that point in the font. And I'll make this uh, green. There you go. Okay, that looks pretty unhealthy. Let's make it orange. So now any clip that you see under the adjustment layer has an orange tint. Anything not under the adjustment layer doesn't. You see that? Orange tint, no orange tint. So this here is called Lightworks. It's an editing software. Um, right now it's for free. You can download it at lightworkspeeda.com. Basically you download the application, it's completely free and if you pay kind of a membership fee of 50 bucks a year, you get the different codecs like EVC HD and stuff unlocked. Because they have to pay licensing fees for it. But it's a very old editing software that's made for feature film editing, so it's really performance. Uh, the performance is for long projects, like an hour and a half or whatever. I forgot the name of the movie. Hugo. Hugo. They use Lightworks to edit Hugo, and that's why you see the original footage of Hugo in there. And then this here, this is a little more pricey. It's a $1,800 type thing, type face. And then cut. You cut to different places. You can go one to the back. We came like kind of too late, so it's almost like finished when he came here. Now it's almost finished. There's not so many people. Got some drink, free food, and I think that's all. <laughs> that was day one at NAB. Um, it's in Vegas, so Vegas is a cool backdrop. Uh, it's huge. It's ginormous. It's crazy. There's well, we met a bunch of cool companies, a bunch of cool people, a lot of German people, a lot of way too many German people. No Japanese. All interesting technologies. We haven't seen anything revolutionary yet. That hopefully comes tomorrow when we go to Canon. Um, but Red had a bunch of new Trying things, like a field. much larger display on camera. Uh, they have now a 6K um, Dragon Simo sensor for Dragon. We what's nice shot film was uh, red camera shot on the red camera. Kind of boring, kind of weird, very very experimental short shot on the Epic, directed by um, Luke Scott, the son of the Ridley Scott. That was kind of interesting film and shown in basically 4K um, stereoscopic um, projection, digital, it's a, called a laser projector. I didn't really feel any different from any other 3D film, so yeah, but it was interesting. And now I'm really dizzy. <laughs> yeah, I think tomorrow it's going to be much more exciting because it's going to be um, <clears throat> all day from the morning till the end. And from now, just that's good. Ciao, uh, Zos. <laughs> it's a dollar. I can play in the slot machines. Ah! Wow! Um, on the way to Alex's set, he's interning at a TV show called The Mentalist, and so we're super stoked to see what they're doing because they're shooting with Alexa cameras, and we'll see if we can get on set if we're allowed there. Set tourists. Yeah, we're 
facing the main 